Hi guys, it's me, Miss Pam, and I'm here with my friend Jeff. Hi everybody, it's me, Jeff. And today, we're going to make a number resource chart, because my number resource chart is at school. And I got this special cool idea from my sister Angela and her daughter Olivia. Olivia! I love Olivia! I know, Jeff. So we're going to make our own number resource chart here at home. Some items that you're going to need to make your own number resource chart is, Jeff, can you help me? You're going to need some glue. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a marker. Don't forget your highlighter. You'll need a poster board. And you'll need a small piece of paper. All right, Jeff, are you ready to show our friends how to make a number resource board? Yes, let's do it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, let me adjust our camera so you can see, is you're gonna wanna make a big number on a poster board. So the number resource we're gonna do today is the number four. Um, and for students who know most of their numbers one through 10, you might want to um, go to double digit numbers, but today we're gonna stick with the number four. So we've created the number four. You can do this on a poster board by coloring a big number four, or you can cut it out of construction paper or a colored um, poster board. So that's our big number four. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to start making our numbers and we're gonna only use the number four since this is our number four resource board. And I'm gonna show you different ways that you can draw the number four for your resource board. So some students will already be able to make this number four. And if they are able to make their own number fours, it's very important to let your child make his or her own number four because we want our kiddos to be independent. But some kiddos, they need a little bit of extra help and that's okay too. So we're gonna give you a couple strategies you can use if kiddos need extra help. You can do a dotted number and this helps with letters too. So you do just some dot marks And then your kiddo can trace over the dots. Now this is a super great strategy for kiddos who are learning to write their numbers for the first time. Another strategy that we use is using a highlighter marker because you can write the number in a yellow highlighter using a yellow highlighter And then your child can trace over that special yellow highlighter mark. This is another helpful way to help your child write their numbers. And because Miss Pam likes to do a lot of different strategies to learn different skills, I'm not just going to draw number fours. I'm going to put my fours in different shapes so that when I put my fours on my number four resource board, students can talk about the different shapes that we've made. So like I'm going to put this number four in a circle. I'm going to put this number four in a square. Woo. And then I might do a triangle and have my kiddo write the number four in the triangle. That way, when I cut out these special shapes, 
we can say, oh, we see all our number fours, but they're all in different shapes. So we've got a circle, we've got a square, we've got a triangle. I'm going to make actually a rectangle too. Some other shapes that are helpful for your kiddo to learn include an oval, a diamond, a star, ooh, and let's not forget one of my favorites, a heart. So once you and your kiddo have drawn all of your number fours, then the next step is to have your kiddo try to cut out all of the shapes. So this is helping to practice cutting skills as well. Uh-oh. I didn't really cut on the lines. So this is a good lesson for kiddos to learn. Even adults have trouble cutting and using scissors, so it's okay to try again. So on this number four, I'm gonna just try to see if I can make it on that line. And guess what? Things don't have to be perfect. I just try my best. All right, I'm gonna try to cut out my triangle. I had to change the way my scissors were angled because I noticed that I wasn't gonna get exactly on the line. And it's okay if I mess up one of my fours and I cut it too close if I cut it too close, then guess what? I can make a new four. All right, this one's going to be a circle. Woo! And an important thing to tell kiddos when they're cutting is to make sure their thumb is at the top, and their thumb should be on top, and they can put their two fingers or even three fingers inside the bottom of the scissors, but their thumb should always be on top. Woo! Now what I noticed is that my circle isn't perfect, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just do the best I can do. All right, the last one I want to try to attempt to cut out is my heart. And just like our kiddos, Miss Pam does the best she can do. And if I don't get it right the first time, I can always try, try again. I'm trying to do the best I can to stay on these special markings to help me. Alright, so I have a few shapes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my friend Jeff help me. Yes, I'm so excited. Alright, so Jeff, what we're going to do is the last part of our number resource board that we have to do the last piece is to glue all of our numbers on the resource board. And you can use any kind of glue. We chose to use this cool Elmer's color glue because we like to put colors on top of colors. You can use white glue, you can use color glue, you can use a glue stick. All right, Jeff, are you gonna help me? Right, 
Here he goes. He's going to squeeze. And the cool thing is you only want to put like what we say is like a raindrop of glue on there. Because sometimes kiddos like to put a lot of glue on there because they're experimenting with glue. So I tell all my kiddos, just put a raindrop on there. Jeff, are you putting a raindrop of glue on there? I'm trying. He's going to get a little bit of raindrop. A raindrop of glue. And we're going to work together. And we're going to put our pieces on. Jeff, can you help me push it? All right. Don't forget our special heart. Oh, Jeff's going to use his little hand to put it on. What about our triangle for? Jeff, can you help push the glue on? All right. And last, we've got our little circle for. Jeff, can you help me? All right, we did it. So now, <laughs> we're gonna show you guys our final product. And I'm gonna ask Jeff to help me. All right, Jeff, are you ready to help Miss Pam? I'm ready. Here is our number four recess board, resource board. There it is, our number four resource board. So hopefully you guys can do this special resource board at home. I'd love to see some of your own resource boards. And remember, you can do single digits or double digits, whatever you choose. Well, we hope you guys join us again next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.